In this short video, we're going to look at how to send an invitation, how to set up a meeting and send an invite to your audience if you're going to do your audience via Zoom and uh, submit that later as a recording to me. So when you get in, if you're, I'm already signed in, so when you get in, you should see these breadcrumbs up here and you wanna click on my account. So you're gonna click on my account, okay? And then what you're going to do there is you're going to go to meetings. Okay, and then what you want to do, it's really, you can keep this pretty simple. Just come over here to the right, hit schedule a meeting. Now, I, and it could look slightly different if you're not in a paid plan, but um, I know sometimes I have found my account link that I used earlier all the way at the bottom of the page and a little tiny menu right here. So you can always find it there if you didn't see it for some reason up at the top. So uh, when you're in here with meetings, you're going to, you can name your meeting, you know, I will go ahead and name it speech for, okay. And you can put any description you would like there. Then you're going to set the date and the time, right? And I, I will tell you to just be on the lookout for those parameters there because um, sometimes they're in increments of half an hour rather than uh, 50, 15 minutes or so. So it doesn't mean you have to use all that time. Just go ahead and uh, do at least the 30 minutes, whatever the minimum is that's over your speech time. Okay, that gives you time to set up and get everything going. So then you move on down and you can put your duration here. All right, so uh, again, it might look slightly different, but just follow what's available to you there. And just leave all this as it is, as far as generating automatically the meeting ID and passcode, because they're not going to need that anyway, but just leave it be. Um, so you want your video on, you're gonna want your participants on. So you wanna do that. And uh, you should be using your computer. So you click that, uh, certainly if, there's some question um, you can ask me about it, but we're supposed to be using laptops or computers here. So uh, you can go ahead and do this and allow participants to just join any time, um, but it's, I don't usually do that. So I mean, certainly you can, but uh, they're not gonna be able to do anything there until you start the meeting. So it's best to leave that alone unless you have a question. I have automatically record, but uh, I would just start recording when you get in there and I'll show you where you where you do that. All right, so uh, what you can see, okay, so that's, I'm gonna leave that that way for myself, but okay, you won't have any alternative hosts, so you'll, you'll save that. I guess I'll have to go ahead and put a, a bogus uh, date and time. So we'll just put today at, 1 p.m. We'll say it's going to be zero hours and 15 minutes. Again, I know I've got the increments, but I'm not sure if you will have those or not as far as less than 30 minutes, but they may be there now because they're always updating it. All right, so if you'll move on down to this and we'll click save, okay? And then it's been generated. It'll uh, ask you different things here. Uh, there'll be a place where you can copy the invitation and that's really, you just copy that, all right? And I'll scroll down here, copy the meeting invitation, all right? Uh, and then you will leave there. Now, once you get this set up, you can actually copy the invitation in the app, but you have to set this up initially in the, at least that's how it is right now, you have to set up initially in the desktop client uh, and you have to have an account so that you can host. Uh, it can be the free account, so. All right, so then you just would end up going to your email and, and just pasting that in because it'll be there for you. All right, so that's, uh, and you'll send that to your audience's emails. So if you have more questions about that, let me know, but that is how you host a meeting.